looking at myself in that intro video, and I need a haircut. I look at, I'm not looking like I look at the intro. You know? Dude, I'm looking at myself on this screen, and I need a haircut. Looking like the yeah. wolf, man. My guy yeah. didn't come last week. I'm pissed about it, too. Man, sometimes they need breaks, bro. You know what I mean? No. he. I mean, that, I mean, yes. Yes, that's true. But I just don't. My guy will kind of like flake on me like every once in a while. You know, just like not answer his phone. And, you know, he cuts my hair every Sunday. I mean, you tip him good, right? Yeah. So I, I, I don't know what's tip the him good. He gets full. He comes to my house. So he gets everything. Going to your house is everything? What? You, what no, no. Mean? I mean, he gets all the money. It's not like, you know, I'm paying yeah, yeah. the shop and then tipping him. He gets everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, welcome, guys, to CBS Size Friday FOC with the East Beast West. I'm your guy, Joker, and I am pretty tired because I just came out of work and we had to record this a little late. So uh, yeah. trying to, hopefully it was not no crazy uh, list for today. Um, no, it's not, actually. All right. All right. Um, well, I did get some reading. All right. Oh yeah. And we'll talk about it, I guess. Over not the- really, because I don't think any of these books are. I. Right, well, I'm here anything. with Josh. I'm here with Josh, guys. All right. Yeah. Um. Well, I read uh, Miles. Okay. That's not I, on. All right, Miles. I read Miles. Um. Didn't like. I don't know. Just didn't like the interaction, like outside of him being a. Yeah, it was a little slow. Yeah, it was slow. Him with his friends and all that. Like, ah, wasn't digging it. Um, eh, felt like a filler. It wasn't like really much. To that. No, you know what it is, is they keep having these events and crossovers, and it screws up the flow of every single book's main story. No, and that's what it did. And you're right. I mean, it's a, it's like reintroducing the book again. I, I, I don't know. I just to me, it felt too corny. Like, like what, what was the point of? Them going to a park, theme park, and all that shit, and they're talking. I'm like, who cares about all that shit? You know, I don't. I didn't understand that. too. Is 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 like the building is like the Beyond Corporation's old headquarters, like right next door to the park or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I don't know what was that about. Um, I did like the interaction with Hobgoblin and Miles. That was pretty dope. That was dope. And the interior art, I really do like. Yeah. I really do like it. The way uh, Vincentini draws his villains is just so good. Pretty good. It's so good. Red Goblin uh, six or seven or whatever uh, six was really good though. I don't know Red Goblin it. was good. Uh, refresh my memory. Uh, I, I I read it. I'm trying to. I know this. It doesn't take place anymore with the Carnage tie-in. I don't think. No, right. he goes to the museum and they 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 give like a suit a Goblin Knight suit to. Oh some yes. Girl and they kidnap his friend and. Yeah, the hobgoblin. It looked like a hobgoblin suit, basically, right? Yeah, yeah. I remember that. It's yes. Another goblin. It's a goblin knight. The goblin but knight. Yeah, it does. It's like the same colors, though. But yes, uh, Red Goblin was dope. Uh, Normie. They figure out. I think that Carnage is a, is is Normie, a kid, basically. You know. Um, what What else did I read? Did uh, you read Web of Carnage? Did not read that. How was that? Dude, Ram V, I will never read another Ram V book ever again. First of wow. all, I think it's a one shot because they're relaunching Carnage again. Carnage with Carnage One. Uh, his books, I- Ram V, I don't know. Like his books just don't make sense to me. I, I like at all. Like he uh, like being in his mind is like he it doesn't to me, it doesn't translate to paper. It just doesn't. I, I don't think he's he, I, I'm noticing like a decline with him. You know, what I mean, more than anything, more misses than hits. And um, I don't know. I don't did know. you read Fallen Friend, Miss Marvel? I did not read that one. I read ASM. But go tell me about Miss Marvel. How was that? It was okay. It was nothing. Nothing you need to read. Yeah, it was a waste, basically. It, it really was. Yeah. All right. What about ASM? You read ASM? Because I read ASM. I read ASM. It was, was it 28? 20? 29. 29, okay. It was good, but it's like, it's good in a really bad story. You yeah, know? I'm, it's just I'm, good for the, the series being so bad. Yeah. Uh, again, McGinnis. I, I, I like McGinnis on ASM. I, I really like it. It's a little bit more... Um, it's a little bit more um, appealing to me than um, Ramita Jr. And, I'm, you know, listen, man. Ramita Jr. is the man. He had his time, whatever. But McGinnis right now is, is killing it right now at ASM. 
Um, when, when they first started, man, yeah, I, did I miss something? I, I guess I didn't read last issue the, with Jay Jonah with the with the with the with the fucking uh, uh, Doctor Ox suit. It was shit. You like, I was like, what the fuck is this guy like? He's he has Spider Man. He's swinging around through. You know, like I'm like the fuck. Yeah, because he has like a relationship with those things. It's like his pet almost. Ah, uh, okay. In, in a in a way. But but now. I guess it's trying is drawn to Peter. Right? It's drawn to um Yeah, well it's helped out Peter before, like yeah. back in like ASM six or something like that. You know, because like Doc Ock basically like kicked his like old like legs out the door and it's it's so weird. It's, it's yeah. Weird. Yeah, I, they introduced like I said, and I and this book really kind of made me feel more that they're heading towards that superior Spider Man thing. Uh, uh, storyline down the line because you know I think um what's his name Dan Slot was it Dan yeah. Slot they announced it so uh, later I think in the fall we're gonna get a uh, Superior Spider Man and this is kind of like introducing that you know now with the tentacles you know drawn to Peter Parker and we got this other character uh what what is it uh Rock Arp or whatever the fuck his name is uh, oh Rec Rap Rec yeah Rap. He, Peter backwards or whatever the fuck yeah is. that's that's the Peter from the uh, um from um. What do they call it? From when when the whole thing was going on with Raven, when when Peter got exiled to that to that like it's I for, it, like it, uh, is it where Madeline Pryor is in Limbo? I think it's Lim yeah in Limbo, and he's he's in New York now, which it's a stupid care. It was stupid, and the other thing is too is like what's the next you know Sinister Six or not even Sinister Sinister Six? What what's the next like early be- uh, Spider Man villain? thing that peter zeb wells is going to give peter he's already given him a glider now he's given him his own pair of octopus tentacles which are spray painted red mm-hmm. what's next he's gonna get red cool, vul- red cool. vulture wings yeah I, I guess but i don't want i hate zeb wells as a as a as the spider-man writer oh um, so bad but the other wreck rap yeah wreck yeah, rap um, how it ended? Let me see. I'm trying to. I'm skimming through the book right now. Um, it's, it's oh it's, yeah, with Norman and and, and Octavius, yeah, injecting and, rockets with the with the serum again, right? So yeah, it's like he's gonna be Green Goblin again. Yeah, yeah. So that which is pretty cool. We need some fucking dark shit, and Green Goblin is the person to do it. Yeah. Um, a book that creeped up that you didn't put up was the What If Loki. What If Loki? Oh, I meant to take that. I did. I flipped through it. I didn't read it though. I read it. Um, Walt Simonson wrote it um that gives you a night like an 80s a 80s vibe like you read it 80s 90s comic vibe you read it throughout it and i liked it i liked it a lot that was one of my favorite reads uh wasn't a great read wasn't a dope read it was, it was just a good read it was good just just as it is it was a good read um basically uh four loki has more here now what did you get the the one in 25 Yes, I did get it with the one in twenty five, and I got it for cheap. I no, no, cheap. I know, but did you have it? I mean, yeah, it's here. Oh, shit, what you did, were there any ticks on it? Uh, let me see. Uh, all right. Uh, sorry, we we stopping up. We're holding this fucking um show. Um, is that book doing anything right now? I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, the book that um, Josh is talking about is the one in twenty five. Um, what if Loki, the Delato one? Look at that! I need it. it. It's it's for it's for pretty dope. It's not going for much on eBay. So if you want to get a copy, get it, grab it on eBay. It's a uh, stop cover. Basically, yeah. that's what it is for. I can't, buy, dude. I am so deep down the rabbit hole on freaking cards right now, and not magic cards. I gotta say, it's something new. That oh shit! I'm not, I don't even want to talk about because. I will it's get so you. freaking good! It's it's unbelievable, and I don't want to tell anybody about you it. Want, oh, so you want to get ahead of it before anybody yeah. else? Yeah. Uh, see this guy. You see how it is, YouTube world. And it's already like going crazy, already. Um, but yeah, man, talk about the what if Loki, man, real quick, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, Walt Simonson wrote it. Um, I, like I said before, I got the '80s and '90s vibe. It, it like it, it's a real good read. Like you read it, and you got the cheesiness. Of those eighty and nineties comics that you read, you know, before it didn't sound like now. You know, I don't know, I, I don't know how to really explain it, but I'm pretty sure you understand what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, 
what else? Uh, yeah, so basically Loki has Molnir. He kills everybody, basically. He kills Thor. He kills Sif. Uh, it, it is just the, the way it ends is basically it, it destroys everything. You know, like it, the Big Bang starts all over. It's, it's You've got to read it. I really recommend it. The ending was just so much good. But Loki just having this power trip with Molnir and killing everybody all from Odin to this. To that, just you got to read it. It's just... It's badass. It's pretty cool. I enjoyed it. So yeah, I don't know why I didn't take it with me. I picked it up and literally flipped through it. I must have been talking to someone when I was. Yeah, um, fucking at one point in the book, Loki round up like all Thor's like enemies and stuff. Uh, a Sortor or whatever his name is. Uh, uh, Hela, uh, rounded up and then everybody is just like, once he killed Odin, like it was a wrap. Now everybody, th- Loki thought he was the head honcho. And the Did he Sword kill Thor- Hela though? No, I, he didn't get into that. Uh, he, you know, he, you know, Loki was like, "Oh, after killing Odin, I'm the, I'm the man, I'm the one," you know. And then, so I forgot, I think the guy's name Sertor, Sertor, or whatever his name is. Uh, once you read the book, I forgot it. My memory's not so good. Uh, he would, yo, my man was just like, "Nah, you're not having that shit." And he just straight up just fucking killed Loki. I, it was, it was a good read. That was my favorite read Loki. of the week. Yeah, he killed Loki. Oh, okay. So, um, I recommend it. It's a what if one shot. I'm sure whatever it is. Um. I saw some of the what ifs um, coming up on that, and it seems pretty cool. Uh, it got Spider Gwen, Ghost Spider, whatever. Uh, with let me see if I can show it real quick. Uh, give me a second. I gotta find the book first. Uh, but there's like, a what? Oh yeah, that's right. What if uh, Spider Gwen, right? Yeah, the what if? Oh, fuck it. I know there's on. what if Be- uh, Ben Grimm became uh, Venom. That one too, I heard. But and I there's didn't... another one on this, that's on this FOC. Oh really? Yeah. All right. So we'll talk about that. But right now, what I've seen uh, coming up, and it looks pretty good. It looks pretty interesting or whatever, uh, is this one here. Let me just sh- solo shot me in here. Let's see. Ah, let's look. And that's Spider Gwen. What if Dark Spider Gwen? Yeah. Looks interesting or whatever. Look like a little roll, like a reverse roll. Instead of her dying, look like Spider Man dies or whatever. Didn't we already talk about that one on FOC? I can't remember. We probably did. We probably did. Um, but that was my favorite read, guys. Uh, I recommend it. Um, like I said, it wasn't a great read, but it was a good read. It was the best, was the best read of this week. Just put it that way for me. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, enough talking. Let's get to these books. Uh, what week and what days is this for? Yeah, this is for Sunday the 16th for DC and independence through lunar and seven uh, monday the 17th for marvel and independence ordered through uh diamond and penguin i don't know why i never said penguin before because obviously people are not just ordering through diamond most people are ordering through penguin i think penguin random house so i, I don't know why i haven't said that um and make sure you go over to cbsi comicbookinvest.com there you go. And let's go. All right. Let's throw some books. Man. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Batman these. White Knight presents Generation Joker number four. Uh, I just, fantastic. Best book out right now. I'll say it. I'm sorry. Wow. This, this is the only book right now that like that I anticipate, or wait, I am anticipating Every time it, it shows up, I'm like, oh, my God, I get home and read this. It's the only book right now that I really do that with. I'll tell you one thing, though. It, it, it might, yeah, it's a good read. You know, you do get a different vibe, though. But oh, you've read this? Story. No, I've read one issue. I don't know what issue. I think it was issue one or two, I think it was. Oh, I started reading it. I didn't finish it or whatever. Um, but I, for me, reading it, you can tell it's, it's a little different from the other stories. And it's because, I guess, it's a different writer now, right? Um, well, it's Katana Collins who did the Harley one, but it's still mapped out by Sean Murphy. Yeah. You but, can't uh, tell that he's not writing this. I can it's, tell. It, it seemed like to me it did. You know? uh, not to me. I mean, not to say that that's bad either. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. bad. I'm not, I'm not complaining about it. You know, it's just written well, you know, but you can tell the different, I don't know, ways. I don't know when it's good to see it from the eyes of the person who's in it, not through like filtering it. You know what I'm saying? If you get me, you know what I mean? Um, mm. but it's definitely good read, man. I, I enjoy it, and I agree with Josh. Right now, this is this is a hot book. This is a dope story wise. It's a dope book. You know? It is, but it still I don't think gets its due. And it's just every time it's like the way he introduces old characters in new ways. Like now you got John Stewart in there. With he works with Wonder Woman. They're both like FBI agents. 
-hmm. you know? Um, I think, is the Flash in there too? I think he's in there also. I think he's another agent. I can't remember now. It's so good. It's so good. You, you know, um, with, um, with this, what is it, uh, fucking Sean Murphy's universe or whatever going on with Batman, we talk about that. And like Josh said, with John Stewart being a detective, FBI agent, or whatever the case is, Wonder Woman. Uh, like, I can see this as a movie because right now they have on Max with that, what is it, Gotham? Uh, Doom and Gotham or some shit like that. It's a dark, dark take. And it's like a Elseworld type Batman. Like, it takes place like in the, what, the early 1900s. Uh, it's pretty fucking dope. I, I enjoyed it. I saw it this past weekend. Um, it's some demonic shit in there, you know what I mean? Raza Ghoul type shit, you know. I haven't even so, heard about this. Yeah, it's on Max. It's an animated movie. Um, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I can see that like me saying that is to say, like, uh, I can see like a Sean Murphy verse type uh Batman, you know, being like that, like an animated movie. I'd rather see it as an animated movie than a live action movie if they would do something like that, you know. Fine. So, yeah, fine. I just don't understand how this doesn't get more attention. I I just I for the life of me I can't figure it out. I don't think an awful lot of people read this. I really don't. You sleep I don't mean him. just this. I mean all his stuff. Yeah. Or like uh, Ghost Tokyo and shit like that. Oh no no! I mean the White Knight stuff. Oh okay I okay okay. The all right. Series. I mean all the all the other ones too. Yeah. Uh, Superman Annual number one. Um, you know, goes along with. Uh, Tom Taylor's Superman. Um, and this is written by Mark him, Harry. I believe. By, yeah, it should be written by different people's annual, right? Like a few people. Uh, sometimes it's the same, though. Okay. Um, hang on. It doesn't show in previews. <laughs> I, know, I know everybody looking at Silver Banshee and Jimmy Olsen because, yes, they, they, they are. Yeah, they're together. They're, they're booed up. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Not Tom Taylor. Joshua Williamson writes. Uh, Superman. Uh, and this is Joshua Williamson writing the annual, also. Uh, I don't know why about, I think it's Tom Taylor. Something about uh, because I think he's doing Superboy, that's why. Um, it's the, 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 blah, 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 blah. The jock cover is died. I don't know why. I like it. I know I, something. I like it too, but at the same time, I feel like Jock, like, either. We've all given him too much hype because of what he did on that detective run with 880 and the other ones around yeah. it. Because there's nothing he's else he's really done that I've liked. This one's okay. It's not fantastic. All that stuff he did on Batman, all those 1 in 50s and shit, the foil ones lately, I thought all those were crap for mm. the most part. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's another kid at the same time. How many times I mean, like, they, like, they work your boy Jock on covers, DC covers, like crazy, you know, because everything you see is, the, is a Jock cover, Batman this, Batman that, or whatever. I take you know. that back, though. The stuff he did on the Batman Who Laughs and yeah. Metal, that shit was good. Yeah. Yes, it was. But this one right here is pretty cool. I, I like it. I, li I like the, the darkness and then the red would lighten it up and shit. It's, it's a dope Superman cover for me. I like yeah, it. These, these are not virgins, by the way, everybody. These are, they just don't have the uh, JPEGs out with the. Uh, How was cover uh, pressing? Like six ninety nine or some shit? Uh, the main one is five ninety nine, and the suit, the uh, Jack one is six ninety nine. Yes. I'm assuming it's like a hard stock cover, car stock. Yeah. Uh. Oh shit! Okay, I like that one twenty five. It gives me like the Bromejo vibe, but it's not Bromejo. Okay, mm -hmm. and Jorge Jimenez one in fifty. That shit is dope. I like that one. Weird smile on his face, though. Yeah, from here I'm not looking at the smile. At the, hold on, let me zoom in a little bit more because I can't really see the smile. But yeah, 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 I see what you mean. Uh, but it's dope though, regardless. Besides, besides the smile. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what else we got. Okay. Okay, Daredevil 14. This is on here because why? Well, it's the end of the run. It's the end of Chip Zdarsky's run. Oh, shit. And, um... Great so, combo, though, by the way. Zdarsky oh, Chetto and yeah, and him. Great. Not, I, you know, guess it didn't really work out so well on this volume, but the last volume they did was... Really good. Really, really good. Um, so the end, but of what? A life, a love, a marriage, Matt Murdock's time as Daredevil? Or the latest and greatest run in one of Marvel's most celebrated sagas? 
all of the above question marks okay um Chichetto cover is pretty dope. Zdarsky cover is pretty cool. I like the dark one. The, the Francis Lionel U125 is pretty cool. I like that one. Um, yes. And that Peaky Blinders, man. This should have been the one in 25, to be mm. honest with you. What? I agree. Flip them. Swap them. Yeah. And the new writer, I believe, of Daredevil is going to be uh, Saladin Ahmad, or Ahmed, I'm sorry, who um, did the last volume of Miles Morales. I think so, he did Fantastic Four at one point, too, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. I liked his Miles run, his the last run. I mean, it wasn't fantastic, but it was it was it was good. All right. Cool. Uh Dark X-Men number one. You're gonna see a bunch of X-Men on here this week, uh, which is unusual for this show, but you know. Um, so Welcome to the Dark X-Men. Hope the world survives the experience. Following the explosive events of, of the Hellfire Gala, Madeline Pryor realizes the world needs the X-Men now more than ever. Havoc and Gambit have served on the team before, but never one that looks like this. And how does gimmick, breakout star of Marvel's voices, pride, fall under the Goblin Queen's sway? Find out in the most horrific installment of the X-Men saga yet. Okay. I mean, um, okay. Alex Ross is going to be doing um, a bunch of these covers for this and Uncanny X Men. I think it's a it, 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 you'll like another one in one hundreds these kind of things. But when I was doing this, I'm like, oh, an Adam Hughes cover. And for some reason, I don't know why I always stick Adam Hughes and Alex Ross together in my mind. And then the very next cover was Alex Ross. Who's better, Adam Hughes or Alex Ross? If you had to choose one, um, the differences between them. Um... Oh yeah, they're big time. The big time difference, but um, I don't know. It's just something about Adam Hughes, like the eyes, the ladies is just like, yeah, gorgeous. His yeah. his art, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, not to knock off um Alex Ross. Alex Ross is the man. He is the man. Um, but but to me, it's just I, more appealing for me is Adam Hughes when it comes I, to the ladies. M- me too, and I'll tell you, Alex Ross would be over the top. If he got away from all this shiny shit, he he just, it's too much. Yeah, you know um, that 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 cover of Maj is um, X Men number one, right? That, the Jim Lee covers, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I figured that. Um, but yeah, I, I I agree. I mean, the shiny shit, you know, when it comes to this, it, he does overdo it. You know what I mean? But uh, awesome Adam Hughes cover. Like yeah, Colossus. Yeah, he's supposed to be shiny, but you know, the rest of these and these aren't actually so bad for what he's been doing lately. Nah. I like how your homage is all Jim Lee's art, and it's pretty damn fucking good. Dude, I, Uncanny Avengers was going to be on here, and I didn't because there's a lot of confusion on a bunch of sites as to the actual covers, but we'll get around to it. There's an awesome freaking Psylocke cover, and, and actually there's an awesome Psylocke cover coming up on an upcoming issue as well. All right. Uh, pretty yeah. dope Angel yeah. cover. Yeah, wow, that is a dope cover. Yeah. See, they're killing me with those versions, bro. Yo, if anyone's going to Terrificon and you want to break Richie's balls, so t- quick story. So two Terrificons ago, we're standing in our booth at the end of the show, and it's me, my brother Nick, uh, Christopher, who's Richie's son, and we're standing there, and the booth right across from us had statues, and they had this dope-ass, like, big angel statue, and we're like, that's freaking dope. We're like, Richie, you should buy that. And he's like, no. He's like, fuck that. I want that Iron Man statue. It's like Iron Man in like old school like scuba gear. Okay. And we're like, what? We're like, he's like, I'll be able to sell that in a minute. That's just still in his it. shop. That's, it's still in his shop. <laughs> I actually bet him that he couldn't sell that like a year ago too, and sh- he should have paid me money, and he still hasn't. But like, yeah, break his ball. It's the ugliest thing ever. He could have got a dope angel statue, but no. That's a nice cover, though. All right. Death of Venomverse, too. Okay. Yeah, Death of the Venomverse. So this is a key. Um, people were specking on this a couple weeks ago. Really? On this issue? Yes. Um, so Cullen Bunn is writing this. Uh, Enter the Symbiote 6. Plus, um, uh, and, uh, so prepare yourself as... Uh, Tagimi or Tagami introduces the world to Venom Boy. Now, 
I've heard him called Kid Venom other places. So I don't know if his name is Venom Boy or Kid Venom. I hope it's not Venom Boy because that's a terrible name. It, what is that? Why? What is? What's going on with that echo? What echo? Something. Something just happened. We're like, I'm hearing feedback. I'd right, stop now. Mm, I don't know. I was. I uh, maybe because I muted. Maybe I don't know. Um. Did I mean? I, I mean, is that the character there on the C cover or what? Yeah. I, okay, I, be- right. I believe so. Yes. All right, so then, um, I mean, I don't see that character in any other cover, right? I don't see it. Is there, is there ratios? To this? Yeah, there is, but he's not on him. Oh, he's not on him. All right, so I'm, I'm assuming that's the book, I guess, to get because he's on the cover. Um, But it's not my favorite cover. <laughs> it's not my favorite cover, man. I like the Baron's cover. I like the Bagley cover. Those are pretty cool, you know. Um, And I don't know. This is one of those... um. This is one of those things that, you know, you want to like, eh, is this character going to really do anything? Who knows? Whatever. But at the same time, man, it doesn't hurt if, you, if you're into, you know, Venom and stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't hurt to pick this up for cover price. You know, don't go for crazy and don't be paying $10, 20 to $30 for this book. You get it for $3.99 and get it for $3.99 or $4.99, whatever it is. Now. There's some cool characters. And then you look at them like, what is this like electro you know, cross freaking anti venom. And it's like I, I always get lured in by stuff like that. And but they always turn out to be the stupidest freaking things, you know? But it doesn't it be more like a cover by type shit, you know. Yeah. Again, like why did you need to you didn't need to do this. Yeah. You didn't need to have two of the same as ratios. You know? Yeah. That, um that segment is fire. Yeah it is. Um I, but I like these covers better. Even the Delato one is kind of weak. It's kind of blurry. Yeah. The what if Loki Delato's though. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, you but, know, I think this cover or the, or the Baron's cover is actually the Bagley cover. I like the good. Bagley. Yeah. Bagley's my, that and the Baron's is my favorite. Um, and the segment when it comes over here. So that's about it. No. We're yeah, not right. doing it. No. Yeah, it, right. Uh, come on, guys. <laughs> Edge of Spider Verse three second print. Um, okay. You know, I'll say it right now. If if you guys if you're not picking up everything Spider Boy, up until I would say at least his first three issues, I, I just don't understand. I really don't. Even if you don't like the character, it's such a low risk investment, and the upside. I agree. Is so potentially big. Not saying it's going to be. It's not what I'm saying. That being said, it's a character that's already over. God knows where they can take him. Everyone saw what happened with Miles. Again, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but it's no. so such a low buy-in right now. Why wouldn't you buy at least one copy of everything he's on right now? Just doesn't make any sense to me, people that aren't. And a lot of people aren't. I agree. I agree with, with what you said, man. Um, like with, with Miles, you know, when he first came out, nobody was buying that shit. Uh, nobody those, buys this shit to this day. To this day, and, and even then, back then, when he first came out, those were affordable. Like Josh said, this right here, like how it is, an affordable first appearance. Uh, now, how you know, later on, it caught traction, and you know, uh, uh, uh Miles. I'm talking about Miles' character. You know, that's an expensive book now. You know, uh. Not that fucking one in twenty five. Forget about it. You know, we're on a nine eight. But like, 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 like Josh said, man, when it comes to this character, this is it affordable? If you can get it for a, a reasonable price, a good price. If you get it for cover price, dope. If you want, in, if you're into these incentives, uh, don't don't. I, me suggesting that right now, get them when they ratio. You know, right now they ratio. You um, the ratio price. This is one in twenty five. Get it twenty five dollars. You know, thirty dollars with shipping, or whatever. <clears throat> Later on down the road, who knows? Whatever they this book might be, whatever the case is. Uh, Fifty dollar book. That's about it. And you don't want to spend fifty dollar later on when you could spend, you know, cheaper, you know, now, you know. But uh, I'm good with the, I'm good with my first printing, bro. And I can't, I can't remember if it was if it's this issue, or or one of the just the Spider Man books. It might be just the Spider Man book, where um, no, it's not this one because he has a cool power. He has like a venom bite where he can bite people and like put them to sleep. I like the Umberto Ramos. I know the, is that the cover right there, or is it gonna like later on? It's not final art. This one? Yeah. No, this is because this was this um 
was uh, a variant in okay. color for the original first. I I think that's a good second printing. Uh, but yeah. again, again, I like how I feel about second print ratios. I hate them and I disagree with them. They should not exist. I, uh, they should not exist. If it's first printing, fair game, no doubt. Incentive, one in 10, one in 25, cool. Second printings do not deserve ratios. I feel like you're you're fucking us. You're, you're I agree. Us, you know, uh, out of our money. Uh, that should be cover price, honestly speaking. You're, yeah, you're cheapening it. You yeah. really are. You don't need You don't need it. Yep. <clears throat> right, moving on. I mean, the it, it the way I look at it in a in a lot of ways is second prints on rare books are almost like ratios to me. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know. Uh, again, Spider Man number eleven. Uh, this I'm I'm reading this book, but when I say reading this book, I'm like flipping through it really fast just to read the Spider Boy parts. Um, I don't know how this book went so far away from this has to do with the end of the spider verse to now it's just really Peter and Bailey, which is fine because the other, there was just too many spiders, but it's just, I, I don't know. Just, just hurry up and get to the spider boy parts. Cause his parts are interesting. I have to say they really are. And he doesn't have web shooters. You don't? What the fuck? Oh, he All just right. kind of jumps around. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Peach Momoko cover is decent. I guess, but why do they keep... Like, does anyone really care about Peach Momoko anymore? I mean, she was a real... People either liked her or, or didn't. And kind of a mixture of that. Even, like, if you liked her, you didn't like some stuff, you liked other things. But it's like, isn't the Momoko train over? I, I agree. I, I'm not. I'm not a fan of her art or whatever. It's 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 okay. It's not my taste. It's not it, you know for people. Other people. Eh. But yeah, I'm with you, man. Um, that that train passed, bro. That train left the station like two years ago. Yep. Uh, here you go. Ooh, ben Riley. This is on you here for you or your son. Yeah, I might you. have to get this for my son. Yeah. Yeah. So this is. Uh, I want to say this is 150. Now this is weird though. So this contains Web of Scarlet Spider 1 through 4, Amazing Scarlet Spider 1 through 2, Scarlet Spider uh, from 95, 1 through 2, Spectacular Scarlet Spider 1 through 2, Scarlet Spider Unlimited number 1, Green Goblin number 3, Sensational Spider-Man 0 through 3, and Wizard Mini Comic, Amazing Spider-Man number 407 through 410, and Annual 96, Spider-Man 64 through 67 from 1990. New Warriors from 90, number 67. Spectacular Spider-Man uh, 230 through 233. Spider-Man Punisher Family Plot number 1 through 2. Spider-Man Holiday Special number 1. Spider-Man The Final Adventure number 1 through 4. Spider-Man Unlimited from 93 number 11. Spider-Man Team Up number 2 and 3. And material from Venom Along Came a Spider number 1 through 4. But what is not in here? The first time he ever shows up. Oh, it's uh, 149. 149, yeah. Um, damn, that's even though that, that that's a lot though. And for the, them not to put at least the first appearance of Ben Riley, yeah, I'm with you on that, man. Um, damn, but that damn, that's a lot for 150 dollars. You're getting your money's worth. It sounds like you know what I mean. Um, it is, but at the same time, all his stories are so broken up. You're not gonna get a nice, consistent low you know yeah yeah um but yeah definitely for um like my son uh, a, a ben riley fan this is this is something to get put in the library man you know i mean i don't even understand why you would do this cover yes this is his new spider-man suit but he was in it for such a short period of time like you you have to get this cover that, that i agree this that stephen butler cover yeah. is it's, it's pretty fucking dope that that's my ben that's my what is this card spider you know mm-hmm all right. Mandalorian season two, number one, second print. Okay. This is just for the Star Wars people, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And even then, they know what's going on with that book. What if Dark Moon Knight, number one? Okay. I, so, I what if Moon Knight did not survive his battle with Bushman? 
when Kanchu's avatar, avatar is slain, a different god empowers their own surprising new champion. From the darkness emerges a new force to light the way, Luminary. But will her quest for revenge against Moon Knight's killer result in her own downfall? I like this. Uh, I like it. I, I like these what ifs, man. Um, I like that when they came out with the Punisher as Spider Man a couple, I think a couple years ago, I think it was, or last year. I forgot when it dropped or whatever. Th- that what if was pretty cool. Uh, the Loki one I read was pretty cool. You know what it is? It's like these old stories, right? Yeah. And and it's like 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 a what if? What if the motherfuckers lost or you know? And, and it's a different take. I, the one with Loki, I like the fact that Walt Simonson took place because I feel like he's like. A perfect person to give me that vibe from the 90s and 80s because you know he's been around you know then um writing those stories so um these are pretty cool man uh, it's just something that you know uh you're always curious about when it comes to you know your, your favorite character and your favorite character is boom knight this is pretty good pickup to get man i just wish they would do it the old way where it wasn't everyone is the number one where it's like okay this is what if dark number five moon knight what if dark number six you know what i mean that makes sense that makes sense yeah. And while this David Mack cover is cool, don't get me wrong, it looks like every other one of his covers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would get every one of these covers over yeah. this one. And, and, not, and not for nothing, I, and I'm not going to blame David Mack for this. This is Marvel. It's not a 1 in 50. It's, no. It should not be a 1 in 50. Bro. No. I think Whatever. this one should have been. At least a 1 in 25, at least. I don't yeah, know. right. Yeah. Uh, Conan the Barbar- Barbarian Omnibus Volume 2. Um, it pains me to see this because I want these omnibuses so bad. But like I told you last time, you know, this is Josh being stupid. Yes, they just had to take the Marvel symbol out and replace it with Titan. Yes, I know that's only one word, but that perturbs me. I want the Marvel version. The Marvel wow. ones are expensive, too. Yeah, but why don't you get this as a placeholder? Because I don't. Josh doesn't do placeholders. <laughs> Okay. Hey, I've... and it and here's the other thing. I was when I was I'm like, damn, which one of these would I get? I mean, I'm like, okay, it's got to be the Neil Adams, but it's like I love Shima though too. Shima just as much, man. You know what? You should just photocopy one of the one of the covers and shit, and just flip them whatever day you feel like. Damn. You know, yeah. Fuck. Both covers. Yeah. Next up, and that is the end. All right. All right. So we will go to Lunar. All right, let's see what we got Lunar. And Lunar falling behind. Or DC is falling behind, I should say, because I don't even think uh, Diamond has the uh, JPEGs up on uh, on uh, with the actual titles. Uh, Batgirl Year One trade paperback. I just saw this. I don't know what this is. Are you aware of this? Is what this is? Uh, it must, I mean... Obviously, the title speaks for itself, but no, nah, I, 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 it's pretty cool. I, I, I would like to read this. I like to read it. Chuck Dixon. I like that cover though. That cover's pretty cool. I, I, yeah. I hope the interior arts is. Like I mean, that. obviously, when was this originally printed? Chuck Dixon. Who did the cover art? Oh, no, oh ba- art. Batgirl Year One, One through Nine. Marvel Smartens. I don't. I never even heard of that. Okay. Okay. So Batman bad. Incorporated. Still no one answered in the comments about if they're reading Batman Incorporated, so I'm guessing that's a big fat no. Yeah. Basically. Excuse me. Detective Chimp. The Dwellings. Night Terrors number three. Now, I didn't read Night Terrors number one. Night Ter- I read Night Terrors First Blood and Night Terrors Batman. I don't think I'm going to continue on with it. I just, I'm not, there's no way I'm reading every single one of these Night Terror books. There's just way too many. So it's to, say, it's to say that we're never going to be reading DC for a couple of months until the night yeah. turns over then. Probably I look at that, that White Wolverine Knight. homage. Yeah, but it's like, okay, it, it, it's like unless you really want it, don't get that ever thinking it's going to be worth anything, obviously. <laughs> this is a ratio to us. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's a pretty cool Green Lantern cover. Yeah. Yeah, I think that I think it was issue one of Night Terror's Green Lantern. There was a dope cover on that. I forgot who did the cover, but it was pretty badass. I like, and that's another one that I like too, right there. That you just show. This is a pretty cool Ivan Reese one, kind of homaging almost like um, the uh, um, the Hush Run. Okay. Uh, when Jason Todd comes back in the uh, 
well, as part of his, in the, when he's poisoned with scarecrow toxin, I believe at that point. Black Adam. Okay, okay. Next. I mean, this looks just like um, that winter special. Oh, the boss logic. Yeah. That's Ben Oliver, though, Ben. Yeah. It doesn't even look like a Night Terror cover, you know? It really doesn't. That might be one to get, though, right there. Ben mm-hmm. Oliver is a great artist. Facts. Uh, I wanted to read the Zatanna one so bad, but it came out this week. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna read it, but I did it. Oh, man. It's, it's... I just think they do her so dirty all the time. You know, they could really do something cool with her, and they just—I've never read a Zatanna story that's like really good. I mean, they they did something when they uh. Introduced her with uh, the what is it? Fucking Justice League Dark. Justice League Dark. Okay, fair. I but, mean, on her own. Now, no, I no, know no. that Zatanna run was good. The one that Adam Hughes did, the covers, it, a bunch of the covers on. I never you know, read that. And you know what's crazy? Both Adam Hughes and Brian Bolin covers were fucking fire on those. You know, the whole so, run. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. I still to this day have never, I think. I don't think I've ever seen, what is it, 15? Is 15 the last one or 16? The red cover. I think it's 16. I don't think I've ever seen that book in a 9-8, ever. Yeah. Ever. I think I've seen the black one, the one before, in a 9-8 once. I've never seen that red one I don't that I can remember in a 9-8, ever. Wonder Woman, Wildcats, okay. The Titans, no world's finest, world's finest Titans. Okay. Cool. Uh, Zatanna and the Ripper. It's a pretty it's cool a pretty cover. cover. Yeah. I got Constantine in there too. Yeah. London. Uh huh. Okay. Mm, seems like an Elseworld type thing. Yeah. Uh, Maybe she time traveled. Who knows? And um. We had previews over here. Nothing in image, really. God, why does it take so long to click into these? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, pretty cool gunslinger cover. That is dope. I do want to get around to reading it. I still haven't. This one's pretty That's cool. Too. Yeah. Um. Berserker. Berserker Volume 3 trade. Don't get it. I'll spare you. <laughs> uh, new Alpha Flight. I was going to put this on, but I don't know how many people care about Alpha Flight. And who? Ed, somebody right there. Ed, Ed Brisson. Okay, there you go. Brisson. There you go. Um, Captain Marvel. No homage to uh, X-Men 100, obviously. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, Captain Marvel. This is Dark Tempest number one, second printing. Pretty dope cover. Mm-hmm. His style fits Captain Marvel pretty good. There two, yeah, it does. But at the same time, his shit gets too samey, too, though. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I mean, like right there. Um, Group facsimile. GSX facsimile. Uh, I'm surprised they haven't, they aren't doing it. Um, foils on all these facsimiles now like the hulk 181 facsimile came out this week gotta say it looks pretty dope still, yeah. still stupid but you know like i know people that like ordered like 150 copies of that i'm like why um a new marvel voices x-men okay um Okay, so Uncanny Avengers, I wanted to, I originally had on, but like certain things aren't matching up. It, it, I won't get into it now, but just be careful because some of these covers might not be the actual covers. Uh, here's one of the uh, Silo covers I was talking about, but there's, cool. a, there's a better one coming up. It's a Greg Land cover, I think, on issue two. That's pretty fucking dope. Uh, kind of reminds me of that old, uh, I think it was that J. Scott Campbell one that's worth like a ton of money. Uh, 
I haven't seen a lot of Red Sonia or Vampirella stuff lately from uh, Dynamite. <laughs> I think they're finally taking a break, or they've driven that into the ground. And there's not much on the other independent comics that I saw. Nothing that jumps out to me. It's all good. My Little Pony. It's all good, man. Uh, but again, guys, uh, make sure y'all go to your comic shops and get your orders in, man. Uh, you know, final order. Final order means y'all already know, man. The dates that we give you here posted on the on the title right there, man. Um, that's the last date to order, mm. all right? So, uh, that's all I got. That's all we. That's all we got. Um, forty five minutes, pretty good. Yeah, pretty right good. on the dot. Pretty pretty damn good. I guess we're gonna end it like that because I gotta take a shower and do what I do, man. Um, I got no final words. Warriors auction. Stay tuned for that. I think they're gonna give it away, uh, tonight. Tomorrow, Friday, Friday night, Friday night, let's put it that way. So, uh, stay tuned for that. And, um, that man, I guess we'll see y'all guys next week. All right, later, later. Wait, we forgot to mention though. There you go. Before we go, we oh, should come from right. all right, guys. See, your bet. I forget, bro. All right, got you, man. Uh, all right, now we say, man. All right, later, guys. Good night.